What is up guys? It's Saul here coming at you with another League of Legends video today. We're gonna be on PBE and I'm gonna be showing you guys what exactly to build on Aurelian Soul in the new season. So pretty much, I mean, the new build is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. The first item you want to go is Cash or Companion, but you do the classic and go Chapter into Rylai's. And then once you finish Rylai's, finish Casters, and then go Sorks. And then your third, fourth, and fifth item, uh, they're pretty situational. Um, so in this case, they're not exactly tanky, but it'd be really nice to have Hourglass. So I would go Hourglass third. Hourglass gives 120 AP now, which is super bug. And then um, I could go into Rebidons, into like Shadow Flame. But obviously, if you don't need Hourglass and you need Void, you would just like swap and go Void third if you don't need Hourglass. But basically, I'll put like two example builds on the screen right now. Um, so like one of them is like for like tankier comps and the other is for like swishy comps, but it's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. The the new items, it's not that complicated, but generally like your core item is cast your companion with Rylai's. You're probably wondering, what about this item, Maglians? Um, it, it's not that good. It's not that good. But obviously we're going to be doing more testing and like everything is subject to change. Um, we're going to be facing the cast in a matchup. It's not exactly fun as he's always going to perma cancel my Q, but we'll see. Ooh. Imagine I just die here. We're just TP back. So it's really nice since uh, Tome now is 400 instead of 435, but unfortunately chapter the chapter gold went up by 100, which feels kind of bad, but it's kind of just whatever. So we'll just get Tome and a uh, health pot here. Bada bing. There's a play top. Let me walk towards this. I might just win it, honestly. Nice. Is he really walking this way? Huh? Huh? Thanks for the kill, bro. Appreciate it. That'll be that'll do nicely. Also, if we want to talk about the new map and how it's good for Aesil in general, for one, these bushes are nice since it's uh, pushed back, so it's like easier to stray away from ganks. And also, there's like more walls that you can play around, which I, hopefully I can show you in this game. But we're just trying to get our Raptor, our Rylai's here. Or sorry, Chapter. Just gonna reset, grab our chapter here. Mana problems be gone. And then we're just gonna go straight into Rylai's. This game, we don't really need Void. I mean, it kind of depends what Singe build. This guy is Smite, by the way. But we'll see. Um, if you guys are wondering, what about like Roa, the, the Storm Surge item and all that? I don't think the Storm Surge item, which is uh, this item right here, it gives you movement speed. I'm not really sure, like, I don't I just, I'm just not convinced about it. I'm not really convinced. I think the build on Aesol is just pretty self-explanatory. You just want to go, like, you just want to build to, like, nuke people, basically. Let me go by here, see if there's a roam opportunity. That probably has his charm thing, right? Oh, I guess not. So we'll take a reset. And then we just want to build into our Rylai's here. So I'll go the classic blasting one. I'll grab a pink ward, fly back to the mid lane. Oh, oh, damn. Thank you, Zach. Oh, nice. Maybe there's a TP play bot. We're gonna TP here. Kill this guy first. Um, look at this. This is, I feel like I'm playing a completely different game, by the way. We'll just dive in real quick. Wee! 
I might just do this for fun, actually. For fun! Oh, I lived. I lived! Woo! Do this. Reset. Whoa. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. I just wipe them, actually. Do a bit of a limit testing. We do a bit of a limit testing. Nice, 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 nice. I'm going to try and get to full build here, so hopefully they don't FF it. We do have our caster's companion, which is really good. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so this is like the basic, this is like the core item is basically your two item power spike right now. Let's see the damage. I mean, obviously we're fed, but oh wow. He's a little nine, so give us ASO shutdown and we won't FF. All right. I'm not inting, I'm not inting, I'm not inting. Um, I lagged. Anyways, we're gonna try and go into Rebidons here. I think I can kill this guy in game. <laughs> Little drive by. I'm down. I'll just sell this and this for another Reb or Rebidon component. Wait, what if I try to proxy in their base in game? Wait, can I go kill Hui? Fight me. Fight me, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. You picked the wrong house, fool. Nice, nice, nice. Oh sh Yo, 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 yo. That was that was uh That was actually not meant to I actually thought I could take him. Not gonna lie. All right, damage check. Damage check. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, sh damn. I kind of got wrecked. Actually, looks like Karthus is going to flash in. Is he going to be able to get the shutdown on Navaris? Varus looking to fall here. He's going to get flipped by the Singe. And Karthus is going to get a shutdown. They're going to try and get more kills. Look at Singe. He's going to try to chase the... I'm going to TP on this. I do have the Rebidons. Wee! Oh shit! Ah, oh, damage. Wee! Um, I kind of want to do a damage check though. Let's see if we can try to find someone to nuke. So we are on our third I item power spike. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my god! Wait, I did so much damage there. Actually, holy! That R like nuked him. All right, so, I mean, third item here. Let's see what they're building. They have no MR. Um, so, obviously, you would go Leandri's when you need it. Um, if they have, like, a lot of extra health. And, obviously, you would go Void if you need it. If they have a lot of MR. But, in this case, it's looking like a Shadow Flame. I might even go an Hourglass because they have Karthus cast. And so, I mean, the final build would probably be Shadow Flame into Hourglass. And they also have Banshees here. Banshees is also good because it gives 120. Ooh, this might be the tech. So, maybe... Maybe you could replace um, Hourglass with uh, Banshees as well, especially this game. They have a lot of magic damage. Oh, you died. Damage check, damage check, damage check. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going, Natalie? Three sixty no scope. <laughs> Three sixty no scope. Okay, easy. So we'll probably try Shadow Flame now. Let's grab our Hextech Alt in here. Oh, actually, I'll wait a little bit for the rod. I really want Shadow, guys. 
Oh, get shit on. I'm gonna do a damage check on this guy. <laughs> do a damage check on this guy. Oh. Oh! I mean, the damage... It's not crazy. It's not crazy. So we're about to get our Shadow Flame here, which would be really nice. And then last item is probably defensive. So this is like generally the build that you want. You want to have... Um, so let me uh, organize it. You want to have Cash's Companion. Then you want to have Rylize. And then like Rebidon's is good. And then Shadow Flame and like a defensive item. Um, again, about the other chapter item, Magliance. I don't think, by the way, I don't think Seraph's. I mean, Seraph's is not really an ASOL item in my opinion. Never built here. I don't think you need it. But if we're talking about this, I don't think it's that good on ASOL. I think it could work, but it just depends. Need more testing. Uh, but we're about to have our Shadow Flame here, so I'm excited to see the damage on it. All right, damage check, damage check. Damage check, damage check, damage check. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, shh. My god. That was kind of insane damage. So it, it crits enemies below 35 health, dealing 20% increased damage. So I feel like Shadow Flame really works nice with your E, like to combine it with start or your execute. So that's really good. And then obviously last item, uh, this game I'd either go Banshees or Hourglass. And it's really nice that they buffed it so that it gives 120 ability power. In this game, I think it's probably uh, Banshees. So let's go that. Also, Verdant Barrier now has the spell shield. Like this component is really nice because it gives you the spell shield. Also, the uh, stopwatch is no longer in the game, but Seekers is basically it. Um, let me do a damage check here though. This guy running, flip me. Flip me, bro. Oh, what was that? Wait, what was that big circle? Was that Storm Surge? Why was it so big? It was like, it was like huge. That was actually huge. Oh, 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 oh. How much AP you got? True. So we have 652 by pretty much full build, which is pretty good. That's like, that's like what it usually is, right? Oh, 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 and A. Q-Bug is still in the game, I guess. Let's see if my team ends. So I think that's going to be it for the video. Uh, so basically, your build that you want to go is Caster, Rylai, Shadow Flame, Rebidons into like a defensive. And obviously, if you need Hourglass earlier, you can build that. And if you need Void, you could build that. And if you need anti-health um, item, like Leandre's, or if you need anti-heal, you would build that. Um, it's it just like situational, just like how it usually is. So... Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other video uh, item ideas, um, then let me know in the comments below. But this is the build that I really think is uh, going to be the staple for ASO. But again, everything is subject to change. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Right? The game's over. Right? Don't worry, I'll end it. Don't worry, guys. I'll end it. Oh. Yes. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.